Hello, monsters about here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3, part 4 of my Golden Magus campaign, where we, uh, we've, we've killed Rakath, we fought back the Skaven, although that's only going to be a momentary uh, ceasefire, I believe, and things are looking good. I'm tem I am tempted to spend some of my interns. Stuff like this. 900. 900 is a lot, though. I do three turns. Ah, fuck it. Fuck it. Actually, that was that was that was not worth it. That wasn't worth it because I've got nothing to spend the money on. Good done at the beginning of next turn. That would have been better. But I've got no money. So um Good. Well, that was This is why I don't do it, because I never do it at the right time. Uh also we need to do some digging, don't we? Let's do some digging. Uh dig. We failed. Go over here and dig. Oh. By so well, I think it's great hoard of treasure may be received. We've got four thousand big ones and hundred and fifty infamy. Infamy. They've all got an infamy. Good. Okay, we don't have to worry about infamy until we hit eight thousand. That's good. Did we have any more? We just got one, it's all the way over there. The the whole treasure map thing is it's interesting, but also almost completely useless. <laughs> Uh, it's yeah it, it just gives you a little bit of money not even like not even like a huge amount not even like a holy shit this is life-changing amount it's basically a pittance which it also costs your army to move for a turn or unless you get this one where you can move with it so i kind of feel like it's it's kind of a bit it's a bit weird i would have preferred if maybe they were kind of like um, like the Caesar Tritus battles. They were like that. But only pirates could find them on land. And maybe they needed pirate maps to make them spawn. Something like that. Because the current the current iteration of them is hot garbage. Alas. Uh, do, I do kind of want elephants. But it kind of makes more sense to get growth. Oh, there's the man-eaters. Oh, there they are. Fuck. I didn't look on the port. People are probably going insane. I'm going mad. Monsters are... Look at the fucking port. There they are. the fucking port. <sighs> Never mind. Got there in the end. I would like some more man-eaters, please. Did we? Uh, I guess. Yeah, so you can only. Because they're only on a port. On a major port. Or a level 3 port. So I guess you could get them here, couldn't you? Yeah, so you could do that. I mean, I would like more man eaters. I do quite like man eaters. She's the money. Uh, I kind of want more money. The more money I have, the better. Also, we were going to save money, weren't we? We were going to save money. So I could save up 10 grand to build the uh, the sea cabin. 10 grand for a sea cabin? I don't know if that's worth it, to be honest. I mean, I know inflationary pressures and all that, but still, that seems kind of mad. Just... Uh-oh. 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 Why are you at war with Bordello? What's happening there? Who are you? You don't like me because I'm friends with the dwarves. Well, well, shit. Well, sh he's strength rank 106. That's not very good. What are the dwarves? 112. I mean, comparatively, that's not that much worse. For the wisdom of the layer. Ah, <sighs> okay. Okay. It's fine. We need another army here, though. What do I want you to do? Mm, I just guess stay there for a minute, for a hot minute. I will get more growth, though, which is spending the money, which I'm trying to save. But that's very... That's very on-brand for me.
Let the games begin! The Golden Colossus. Okay. Am I going to... S I'm going to save my pennies. I am going to save my pennies. I kind of want to go and help the dwarves. But... I've got seven turns where I can't declare war on the rats. Yeah... I... I mean, what, what's happening to Itza here? It's a going... Oh, what the fuck? Why are the dwarves over here? Did... What? <laughs> what? You're at war with those guys. You're actually strength rank 27, which is... is good. Does anyone want to be friends? No. No one wants to be friends. Why won't anyone want to be friends with me? I'm just your classic pirate... scholar... demon worshipper scholar. It's a trope. Probably, somewhere. Okay, I'm going to save my pennies. So I can upgrade my cabin. I deserve it. Treat yourself. Ugh. Come on, dwarves. Stop them. No, I'm going to... I'm get, Right, I'm going to... I'm just going to save. I'm not going to spend any money. I really want to. Look, it, all of those little... All of those little hammer icons. They're speaking to me. They want me to touch them. And I'm not going to. I refuse. Oh, well, that's... That's rude. What's not rude... Is that? Uh, do I? I'm, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to save the pennies because then I can upgrade some stuff afterwards. So we could get camel cataphracts. I really want camel cataphracts because cataphracts are great. Basically, the tanks of the ancient world, and they're one of the best units ever in total war across all total war. If you could give me rifle wielding camel cataphracts, that's basically my kink. Okay. No, it doesn't make sense. I don't care. Maybe it's because it had the, the camel gisales for it. Is it the Moors in Medieval 2? You get the camel gisales. They were fucking great, those guys. They weren't cataphracts, though. So, you know, that that's, that's a mark against them a little bit. But otherwise, mwah, delicious. Chef kiss. Right. We're going to go with... What does that give us? Oh, we get the Summon Book Jin. Summons a unit of enchanted books. <sighs> what kind of books? That's the question. Because if it's like Harry Potter, no thank you. I really do want camel cataphracts. So I'm go I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be we're gonna be very chill here. We're gonna be taking our time. We're gonna be thinking about the future. We're gonna be investing for the future. I mean more money would be nice. Every time. It gets me every time. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We're losing 90 interns a turn. But that's okay. Because we're working. We're working on... I got the guns, didn't I? Yes. Uh, speed for those guys. I mean, I guess speed for those guys. Speed for Corsairs. The problem with Corsairs is they are a bit squishy. They're pretty good. But they are very squishy. They will squish. I mean, they're quite cheap. And only 82, you could get quite a lot of Corsairs, couldn't you? I mean, not at the moment, obviously, because I've spent all my money. But, investing. Wow, didn't even wait for the, um... Didn't even fucking wait for the... For the... It's definitely not been seven turns. He didn't even wait for the thingy-majig. The countdown. I mean, I know he's a, I know he's a Skaven. Uh, yeah, well, it almost always does start there. Okay, so I guess we won't have time to do camel cataphracts, but maybe we can head off the right. What I'm going to do? Let's get you down here. Let's get you up here. We're gonna, gonna don't bump into each other. 
<sighs> Guys, don't stop for a chat. You're like one of those annoying people in cars. So you're driving behind and they see someone walking down the road and you can't get past them. And then they stop for a fucking chat for five minutes with this person. You're like, what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was ruining your conversation. I hate those people. Oh, how are you doing? Oh, yeah, I'm having a lovely time. Yeah, no, I'm stuck behind you. Fuck off. Find somewhere to park, get out, go for a cup of coffee. I don't give a shit. Just don't sit there in front of me for five... I'm sorry, it happened to me the other day and it really upset me. It really... I mean, obviously, I didn't say anything. I was very passive-aggressive because I'm British, but still. Still, yes, I did get a book out and sit there reading it. But it was... It was okay, it wasn't five minutes, more like three. Three minutes, but still, that's... Th three more minutes. So you can go, oh, hi, as you go past. That's fine. That's okay, right? Don't stop for five minutes and have a chat. Jesus Christ. These fucking people. I swear to God. And they walk among us. I want to get some more Corsairs. So, oh, I can't. Right, you're going to come down here and defend the dust gates. The dust gate needs defenses. Do I spend? That's a lot of interns. I'm going to wait. Because I reckon that Hadem can probably hold that unless they underway over him. Which is, you know, quite... Quite a high possibility, but we'll worry about that later. Um, then we can sort of swing around here and deal with this. I did want to save the money. What do we need? Ten grand. Well, we can we can probably get some money by killing killing rats, right? Okay, let's go and let's go and help some some dwarfs. Uh, are you a Poison boy. Plague boy. No, you're a boon boy. It's okay. I don't care about boon boys. Boom, 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 boom. boom dun, 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 just recruited Corsairs. Okay. If I, if I encamp, I get a lot of... A lot of um, ambush success chance defense. Ambush defense. That's the word. Amber success chance defense is not not what I meant. No. No, what I meant was... Anyway, the point is, we're, we're going to move you down. You recruit a couple of Corsairs. That should be fine. We can upgrade that if needed. I'm going to save because then we can upgrade. We can get Camel Cataphracts, but that's probably going to... You know what we should get is maybe like the extra... Replenishment. Oh, there's so much stuff I'd like to get. Do we... Wait. I don't have the upkeep. We could get. I mean, the thing is, this army's not that expensive yet. We've got the sky sail, so we've got the extra campaign movement range, which is you right. No, so we're we're just going. We're going to be very, going to be very chill here. We're not going to spend any money. We're gonna we're gonna get the camel cataphracts because I really want them. I knew you'd be here. I knew it. Still, that is slightly more than I would like. Okay, let's grab you boys. I suspect that they will probably uh, run away. So I'm going to advance and then... Well, they might... No, they'll probably run away. I'm almost certain they'll run away if I... Yeah, they'll, they'll run away. They they do not. They will not want that. Do I rush this? Yes. Let's rush this. Then we've got a nice, a reasonably nice beefy garrison and a decent army there. As long as they don't underway. It is Skronk, though. I don't really... There's nothing I can recruit in one turn that will really help me there. Uh... I guess just good luck, everyone. Um, also, I spent my money, didn't I? Never mind. Did they... Did they run away? Ah, oh, you are laying siege to me. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Because we can probably just take you out, yeah? Yeah, I mean, they do have... They have Plague War Catapults. Rattling guns. I mean, their armies actually, apart from their fucking chieftains, I hate, I hate how many characters escape and have. 
Not because they're particularly dangerous, they're just annoying to deal with. Well, they're not having the best luck. And our little Nafatun of Sakash, who are the flying carpet bombers. Gonna try and take out some of these Plague Claw catapults. I mean, that seemed pretty, pretty successful. It's not bad. Another few rounds of that. We've got a cavalry coming from behind. We've got the Desert Raiders and the Dread Daughters of Tarek, who are... Are they missile... Oh, no, they, these are... These are these are missile cavalry. These are not. Oh my god, they've got they've got the bead. They've got the bead, the rattling guns. No. Get some shots in. Get some shots in. Take them out. Uh, well, you managed to take out half the playful catapults. It's not bad. The Gis oh, we need some more Gisales. The Gisales are great because they've got guns. There is Hadem. Through the rattling guns, taking the baits and shooting at the Spearman Mirage. That works for me. Cavalry moving in, trying to take out the Blakeful Catapults. Unfortunately, the Daughters get absolutely annihilated in fairly short order. They just get wrecked. I, don't, I didn't notice they had a burning head. I should have used that. Fuck. Never mind. I was too busy trying to... micro everything. The Death Commandos. These guys... Their armor's not great, but the melee attack and melee defense are pretty good, so they should be able to mulch these clamorites. Missile units trying to pick off units on the flanks, like these Skaven Slaves. And of course, we've got Storm Vermin fighting the Corsairs. I feel like a Corsairs... Mm, well, mm, mm, mm. We get the bonus first infantry though, don't we? They got 21 kills, it's not bad. I think they'll probably trade with the Storm Vermin. That's not really what we want. A spearman moving in to engage the Skaven Slave Slingers. Which they, they should be able to win that one. The Gisales are picking off units left, right, and centre. Look at that, 107 kills. These guys are what I need to kill Skrulk, because Skrulk is going to be an absolute nightmare to deal with. Plague Core Catapults, one there. So I've got three there. And 25 there. I think they've abandoned the Plague Core Catapult for some reason. I'm not sure where the unit is. The flag is there, but they're not actually there. They're somewhere else. I don't know where they are. That's not fine. The, the, the amount of artillery is is now minimal. We've managed to take it out. Even the, the carpet riders are back, taking out some more of those Plague Core Catapults for us. That's good. Ooh, what a shot. Had them um, given him a... What's that? Sunstrike. And we're now trying to pick Skrulk off with the Gisales. That's it. Give him, give him some pepper. That's the stuff. But he's very, very missile resistant though, isn't he? 15% missile resistant. I mean, he's not that missile resistant, but he's still... Wait, are you magical attacks? No. Okay, well, I don't know why he's so resistant though. Take quite a bit of damage though. And his army is dwindling. Looking at numbers. We started off with basically the same. But uh we've we've got a significant advantage on him. Adam taking a little bit of missile fire there. He's got his he's currently got his oh he's look, he's got his he's got his staff accidentally tied up in his turban. That's embarrassing. Just when well, he's wrapping it, he's now got to. He's just got to. It's just got to style it out. Poor chap. The archers picking off fleeing units of Skaven, and even the Pink Horror's doing quite well. Sixty-seven kills. It, you know what? That that's not bad. Raining their fire down on the storm vermin, who are starting to waver. This battle has been an absolute clusterfuck. It's 
very scrappy, this army. It's a very scrappy army. Fortunately, it looks like Skrulk has just about had enough, as has his army. Okay, as long as Hadem... And can I just point out that Hadem here has got the same expression on his face that you would have when you've left your phone in selfie mode and then open it up. That's what you see. That's the kind of face you see. Um, I'm going to grab the replenishment because I'm hoping we can chase him down. We might not be able to, though. I don't know. I don't know if we've got... Oh, you could be a scheming megalomaniac. Or a loyal administrator. Dedicated scholar. Mm, well, I do kind of like being a scheming megalomaniac. Do you get power of darkness as well? Yeah. Do that. Let's do that. And can we kill you? Ooh, so close victory. I'll lose those guys. That's fine. I'll take it. They'll come back eventually. And Skrulk has been routed. For the wisdom of the Which means we can go and take the thrice cursed peak. Good name. I'm going to loot and occupy this. And I'm going to knock down this. And I'm going to build a military building there. And I'm going to sell it back to the dwarves because I'm going to be honest, I don't really want. But what we can do is get the main deck. Yeah! That's what we like. Love a main deck. And I kind of want some artillery. So let's get some cannons. We're pirates after all. We need artillery. Pi I've never heard of a pirate without artillery. And I'm gonna upgrade you because I would like a whole I would like a chamber of visions. We can do a little hot boxing. Good stuff. I yeah, we'll get evasion. You can have again, I do quite like quicksand. And you just need to be a big burly boy and tank my enemies for me. Thank you. That would be grand. Do I want extra growth here? You know what? I will go for the extra growth. When you leveled up again. Uh, I think it's probably sensible just to give you as many spells as possible. I do like the Corsairs. I could get some man. How much is that? That's quite expensive though, isn't it? To get some bow boys. Just because we might need to fend, fend attacks off. But my plan is, if we can like come down through the mountains, come out into the jungle to the south of the jungle, we, we, we might be able to secure the entire peninsula. That's... That would be pretty legit. And then I could potentially go after those golden doubloons, assuming that, you know, the rest of the factions in Lustria don't take a dislike to me. And then I end up being pulled from pillar to post, being declared war on, instead of going on magical adventures. Well, oh, well, I don't really. If, if it was flamers, I might consider it. Sorry, Zinch. You're... There we go. Sorry, Zinch. Not just as planned, unless it was, unless it was just a plan that I was going to say no, which it might have been. I don't know. All right, we need to take Oxal. Uh, we'll do this. Move into intercept. Oh, do I want to build? Yeah, we will. We will build a military building. How many interns? 300, that's worth it. Right, hello. And what can the Dowie do for you on this fine day? Well, I wanted to sell you the Thrice Cursed Peak, if possible. Become a vassal? Yes. Let's do that. Come my va- Oh, there's another fucking Skaven army there. Insults to heart, rat, rat. My oh my god. Jesus Christ. How many gyrocopters have you got? Holy balls. Alright, well that's that's a problem. 
I might have to move you back. Uh, Duskgate is going to get upgraded. And we're going to recruit some more lads. I'm hoping the dwarves can deal with that, or at least hammer them into the ground for me. <sighs> Undying Buccaneers. The undead make for useful troops, but they make for a poor company. These guys aren't dead. What? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, get some more armor. Not like doing any raiding. Not in this game anyway. In Pharaoh and Troy, raiding is good. I want to get some camel cataphracts, but I bet they cost I bet they take multiple turns to recruit, don't they? Of course they do. Inevitable, really. I ain't got time for that shit. Throwing everything they've got at me. What have they got? Artillery wise. One, two, three. Okay, three units of artillery, which is not ideal, but certainly. Do oh, they've got lots of Doom Flayers as well, which I absolutely hate. Ugh, fucking Doom Flayers. Okay, well, thank God for encampment stars. That's all I can say. Okay, I'm not going to lie, this battle's been very weird because the Skaven army has, has basically refused to advance. Now, I have been harassing it with with the Golden Magus, so he's got 588 kills. It's not bad. And with Massive Gerbil, who's got 886 kills. Very nice. This, so as you can see, a lot of the Skaven army's been quite battered, and yet they have absolutely point blank refused to advance. I've been harassing them, trying to get, I mean, they've got a shit ton of artillery, so they really should be, but they've stuck it in the trees, so I'm fairly confident that I can advance under very minimal artillery fire, because they're just going to launch their artillery shells directly into the trunk of trees. I've also got my cavalry. My plan was I was going to sit up here on the high ground and basically let them come to me. And when their artillery got in range, my cavalry was going to sweep out, knock them out, and then come in and do a rear charge. That was the plan. Not particularly exciting, but, you know, it, it it's tried and true. Instead, what the Skaven did was mill about for a long time, let me cast a bunch of AoE spells on them and completely fuck them up. So... Well... I guess that's a strategy... Anyway, as you can see, not even all of the artillery is firing on me, but what artillery is, is just launching directly into these trees. The trees in Lustria do tend to be incredibly thick with lots of little little fronds here. Is that a frond? Branch? Branch? Anyway, whatever. It's, it's quite thick, so it's quite hard to shoot through those trees. Which does mean that uh, putting artillery in it, not, not really the best. <sighs> the best plan. But there we go. That's what they've been trying to do. So realistically, this is kind of a mop-up operation. They started off with almost 4,000 guys. They're down to 15,000... Uh, well, 1,500. Because, you know, I've been annihilating them. And they're too fucking dense to... I don't understand. Normally, they would wait for the reinforcements and then charge and then advance. These guys... I wanna. They just keep milling about and reforming their army. Like, they're reforming now. They're actually trying to move their artillery out of the trees, which is not necessarily a bad option. In fact, what I'm doing is reforming my man-eaters over to my left flank, where we can potentially take some pot shots at these plague monks, because I do think the plague monks could actually be quite nasty. Uh, they do have seven bonus plus infantry, which makes their melee attack over 40, and their weapon strength the same. Uh, so, you know, that would be that would be quite unpleasant. They actually managed to get a shot in there. They're only firing through a few trees now. Which I guess is better for them, isn't it? So, so far, so good. Plague monks realising they're about to be target practice, decide to try and pull back, but there's only so far they can pull back. And we start popping heads. With our man eater pistols. So much jam. Pop. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. There you go. Taking, taking big chunks out of them. That's what we like. 
Return fire on the... I mean, it's not, it's not going to do much damage to the man-eaters. The Plague Claw catapults. And your Plague Monks are almost down to 50% health, which is not great. I'm squirting nothing, mate. So we're going to advance slightly, so we're into missile attack range. Our Corsairs can use their finger pistols. Sending a wave of Skaven slaves. It's not a, not a bad shout. This happens to be the Skaven slaves, of course. Our cavalry are still waiting in the wings. And a man eater, the man eaters are still picking off the plague, but the plague bunks are are basically fucked. We still have to deal with all of those uh, annoying doom flares. I mean, they're not they don't do huge amounts of damage. They're just kind of annoying to deal with. They've got storm vermin advancing along with uh, oh yeah, there's rat ogres down here as well. Poor rat ogres. I love rat ogres. They're just not very good. It's a shame. Such a shame. Cavalry now moving out of the trees. Surprise, motherfuckers! Which means these clan rat spears suddenly have nowhere to go. Are these guys been shooting? No. Oh, the cavalry charge is amazing. Slamming right into the flank. And running roughshod across the units currently engaged in our line. Meanwhile, the Arabian Knights are moving into the trees to hunt down the enemy artillery. And uh, we've also got the flying carpets here who have done... They did a little bit of damage. I mean, 850 is certainly respectable. They did some damage to, uh, to the artillery and stuff. Tried to pick. It was difficult to use them, though, because there was a lot of missile units in the Skaven army, and uh, they're very fragile. The Skaven army is in absolute disarray. The centre there, we've got uh, the Golden Magus engaging the enemy general, along with his Emir, and the Man Eaters are currently murdering their way through some clan rats. We've sent the flying carpets in to try and deal with some of the plague for catapults. Need to get the cavalry in here to help out. Fortunately, it looks like the enemy army is near breaking point. Even though those Doom Flayers have been incredibly irritating. Oh no, leave Massive Gerbil alone. He's running away. He's booking. I mean, he did. He did manage to get 898 kills, 4,200 damage dealt as gold. That is a good day. He has, he has earned his pay. That was an interesting battle. Ooh, absolutely bizarre. We're ver we'll look at Vermin Stomper. Up to 15%. We're fighting against Skaven. And uh, all the Black Skimitar Guards and the Howling Basilisk Bombards. That sounds quite fun. Should definitely recruit that one. Did all those armies die? They might have done. They genuinely might have done. Right. Um, what do I like here? Mm, let's kiss of the deep do. Just does a little bit of damage to everyone for four seconds. Mm, okay. I mean. Seeing as we will be casting magic. Let's get magical reserves. Could now. Could we recruit you guys? No, not in foreign territory. Rubbish. Because I really would like. Wait, what was that? 
a miserly hoard of treasure. Why would I go over there for what is effectively going to be like a grand? It's going to cost me more to get over there with an army than it is to... Oh, never mind. Right, there's probably a garrison in there, and it's probably quite a big one. That's what she said. Did the, did the dwarves manage to fend that off? My axe for war. That's nice, but did you manage to... Or, that, or maybe they marched their army down here. They, they probably wouldn't have done that. Okay, okay, let's see what this is like. Let's see... Oh, fuck my life. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, I don't think I can deal with all of that. Not the garrison and the army and the other army. I think what we're going to have to do... We meander back here. Uh, we could then recruit these guys. No, we can't. Right, what I will do is I will recruit them here. We'll recruit these guys, and then I'll rush you down. We, we need two armies down here. That's what we need. And I also need to rush this, ideally. Which I think we're going to do. And we're going to upgrade you. And we're going to rush you as well. Oof. But that, that gives that quite a beefy, a beefy garrison. Plus, I think... They they might attack us. I think they might they might be feeling feisty. They might be feeling feisty. Which I would I would kind of be into. Uh, what I want is a grand bombard, but I can't I can't if I if I reduce my unit count, they will attack me next turn. They'll probably attack me anyway. But at least I won't have to deal with the garrison. So that's something. You know, the garrison as well. We get Hadem, and then we can take on Oxal. That's fine. Or, or we wait for the dwarves to turn up and help us. That's the other option. We've got some options. We've got some options. But that is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.